Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of RimWorld. In the last episode, we recruited a brand new person. Arthur came and tried to raid us. We shot him in the face. And uh, then we took him to our wonderful prison and uh, Stockholm syndrome him into thinking that this place is actually better than it is. Uh, he's joined us quite willingly. We've given him a gun, probably not our best plan. And he's going around hunting things at the moment. Well, at the moment he's sleeping, but uh, he will be soon enough. We're building another bedroom, so we're going to move things around. We're going to give him this room, move Garrison down here. And the colony is expanding. We need to work a lot on our food levels. Let's actually get cutting plants moved up the priority list. Um, actually, let's, let's get you doing that. Cutting plants and harvesting is going to be very, very useful. Garrison has had his malaria treated. I hoped we were going to get through it in the last episode, but we didn't quite. Ooh, we've got a raid coming in. Green uh, chimpanzee Kurgaso have arrived. Let's go have a look. So, these guys have a wooden club, a steel spear, and a steel spear. So, as long as we can fight them at range, we should be okay. They're going to come down this way. So we can get our two Arter and is it Ricky? Yeah. We'll get you guys drafted and in position here. And we'll get Cameron equipped with I honestly don't know what's going to be best. Uh, we'll give you the poor steel club. We will get Kevin also up over here. Uh, we'll draft you and go there. And as they come closer, these guys will be able to swarm in and help. So we're waiting at the moment for them to get close enough and try and attack. They are giving us a little bit of time to prepare before they come down. We could go out and, and seek them, but we're in a much better position down here. Uh, who needs treatment? It's Kevin. Kevin can wait for the moment. His immunity is pretty damn high. He's going to be annoyed about that, but his immunity is at 94%, so we can wait a little bit of time. Come on, we've got our warriors all prepared. That steel spear is not actually that bad. It does five melee damage. Oh, actually, we can we can go around and check, see what the different things do. So let's have a look. That does four melee damage. That does three melee damage. That does four melee damage. That does 11 melee damage, definitely the best thing, and... That does 8 melee damage. Okay, so I picked the right thing going for the steel club. Um, I don't know if there is really a right thing at this point, though. Get some practice in. Um, can I stop your firing? There we go. Mostly because I didn't want friendly fire, but at this point, it's actually not that bad. As long as you're standing right next to someone, you can't get friendly fire with it. Um, so we couldn't hit Ricky, but we could hit Kevin and Cameron, which is why when the ball ran that way, I didn't want to shoot it any further. Um, it's not actually bleeding to death, though, which is a bit of a shame. What's the chance to hit? 40%. As long as it's standing directly there, it's a really bad idea. Cool. Uh, yeah, carry on shooting at it. Get some practice in. Here they come. No, 
Now, as they get a little bit closer, we will move on in to get the wonderful melee combat going. I think at this point we're going to have to pull back, shoot this way. In fact, no. No, this is uh, going to be the right way to go. And you can go and stop this guy. There we go. So they're going to try and flee. Uh, mostly because dead and dead. Kevin, you've only got a knife. Let's get you out of the way. You can shoot. You can shoot. Please don't shoot Cameron. Wow, this guy is not actually... Well, he's... Fleeing in panic, but he's not actually running away. Running away. I wonder, can we... No, we can't attempt to arrest him. Although, we actually just shot Cameron in the back. That's a real shame. Uh, Cameron, let's... Let's back you up. And what we're going to do is we're going to undraft you and we're going to undraft Kevin so that they can start. Yes, there we go. Going to heal, right. Undraft. Undraft. Capture this one. Strip this one. Strip this one. Unrestrict the weapon. Unrestrict the weapon. And unrestrict the weapon. A pretty good combat. Other than the, uh, the injuries, of course. How's Cameron doing? No immediate danger, no immediate danger. So they're okay. Cowering in fear, that's alright. And get back to doing their normal thing in just a moment. Okay, Gerasim's fallen over. Uh, incapacitated, why is this? Oh, malnutrition and self-treated for malaria but didn't manage to eat. Well, after Kevin's treated himself, he'll come through and sort out Gerasim, I'm sure. Gerasim is the least of our worries. There we go. You can hear the little kid shooting in the distance. Right, how is this one doing, actually? Death in 8.1 hours, so we do kind of need him to be taken care of. Kevin. Get him healed up. And then we can look at potentially recruiting him. Actually, let's have a look at what his stats are like. He's a misogynist and a slowpoke, but he's really good at shooting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it'd be worth, uh, worth bringing in if we could. After the immediate problems have been tended to, uh, we'll think about maybe improving his quality of life. Alright, he's out of immediate danger. And if we can recruit this one, that'll actually take us all the way up to six, which would be awesome. Yay, lots and lots and lots of rice coming in. And these are almost ready for harvesting as well. Cool, Partridge can walk again. Although with moderate blood loss, I don't see that happening really while needing bed rest. And who's starving? Gerasim, of course. In fact, how is the malnutrition? It's up to 16%, so it should be taken care of soon. So we've developed an immunity to malaria. That's fine. 
I think Kevin will have done the same as well. Where is Kevin? There we go. And the actual amount is going down over time. Good. Oh, more malaria. Okay. Well, that's certainly not fun, but getting an immunity is is good. Uh, we do want to tend to that right away. So, Kevin, I'm really sorry. And who is the other person that got it? Ricky. Everyone's getting malaria. Ooh, and a fire. Uh, the fire's out there. Arta. Putting out a fire before it spreads is of utmost importance. Right, you need to tend there. You can't tend, Ricky. It's, it's a bit of a shame Kevin's having to do everything at the moment, but Kevin is the good medic. Because we want to make sure that this malaria doesn't... Uh, end up getting worse. Oh, you're going to have to sell tend as well in a moment. Uh... Wait, is that the last bit that you need to do for malaria? Does it need te it doesn't need tending again? Cool. So that makes things a lot simpler. These two aren't using up any further of our medical supplies, although we do not have many medical supplies left. We have run our supplies all the way down. And I don't think anyone actually has the ability to grow heal root, which is a real shame. So let's have a look around. I don't think there's any wild heal. Oh, there's a little bit up here. Yeah, let's get some bits of harvesting. It'll take us a while to gather it all up, but it's for the good of the colony. And I'm individually selecting them because I don't want to be getting berries at, at the same time because medical supplies are really what's important at the moment. That's been treated. You're doing all right. How's Cameron doing? Yeah, it's slightly better. Right, so let's set this to Garrison, which means this is now the kid. Everyone has a room. And Garrison's mostly in the medical bed anyway, so it's not really that much of an issue, but uh, it's good that everyone has a room. Garrison's pretty much set to only do Joy at the moment anyway, so I'm not actually that worried about a break risk. Uh, let's get some light in here, I think. be quite nice. Okay, Ricky, what do you need treatment for? Your malaria. Okay. He's heading to the medical bed. Good.
And your malaria needs treating as well. So we can get Kevin to do that as well. I know I, know I said Cameron was uh, by far the most valuable member, but Kevin actually seems to be doing a hell of a lot of the work. And it looks like our food supplies are actually increasing. I so is the number of people that we've got, obviously. But uh, uh, let's um, let's give you a chat and recruit. Gradually build up a rapport. Still not be mined out. Ah, right. Uh, Art is coming down to do it. Ooh. One of the coolers is broken down. Luckily, we've got two coolers in there, so that's not actually a problem. Camera's straight on it anyway. So this room is staying nice and chill. Yeah, these guys kind of need to get hauled sooner rather than later. I might get Kevin to run around and do it. Although, I, mostly when I say this, I'm looking at their, their moods along the top because I know that someone's going to be a little bit grossed out by it. Maybe I'll get Arthur to do it. How is your malaria doing, guys? 71% immune? Good. 72% immune. Missing the right middle finger. Yeah. It sucks, but there's not a great deal we can do about that. As soon as this is mined out, we can build a wall there, and that'll allow us to run the power conduit across. I'll get power down here, and Garrison won't be sleeping in the dark anymore. 73% through the go to addiction, though. That's... Very, very nearly there. I mean, I know I've been saying it for a while, but that's actually going to turn Gerasim into a productive member of the society. At the moment, he's not actually that unproductive. It's just uh, the work that he's doing isn't really helping a great deal. He's probably just about covering his own uh, costs in food, I suppose, would be the equivalent. Yes, uh, just as a reminder, this is RimWorld. It's an absolutely fantastic colony sim on the outer frontier of space. The edge of civilization, the raggedy edge. And uh, obviously, with the three colonists that we had that crash landed at the start, we've expanded our colony since then. This is a Baden's Gate colony. And at the moment, we don't have anything that's really craftable to sell, but uh, we're going to get on that soon enough. Right, let's have a look through everyone's abilities. So your growing is five, yours is one, yours is nine. If Cameron was growing, let's get Cameron doing that. We'll get the heel root planted in a bit. Okay, Cameron is actually still resting until healed because of uh, the malaria. But as soon as that's sorted, we'll get Cameron planting this up. And these potatoes look ready to harvest. I wonder if there's a difference between 97% and 100% for harvestableness. I suspect there probably is. Right. 
Cameron. Once you've finished your vomiting, get some heal root planted because that's going to help us in the future. We do need medicine. Meditating. As soon as you're done meditating, we'll get you doing that. Every single time there's a, there's a distraction. Cameron not actually set on growing. No, Cameron is set on growing. Okay, Garrison has fallen down. Oh, from food poisoning. That's okay. I'm sure someone will come and help. Most likely, Kevin. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this prioritized all the way through. There we go. One bit planted. We don't need much. We just need it to actually be growing. Now there are, of course, the bits dotted around the map. Um, nine of them. That's, that's all right. It would be good to get them hauled in. But there's no massive urgency on that. Kevin will run out and uh, grab bits as he needs anyway. Back there he goes now. Off to get some... Oh, he's doing some hauling in the right direction. And then he'll probably grab some heel root on the way back. Steel wool there. Steel wool there. And that will allow us to connect it up quite nicely. Oh my god, there's a mega sloth just on the door. Yeah, that's not fun. Okay, the malaria treatment's going well. Uh, Kevin, I'm really sorry, but we're going to have to get you to do Cameron's treatment before you sleep. Which way are you going? Oh, you're going all the way around there because it is closer, but you don't want to go through that door for some reason. Maybe if I set that as part of the home area, they'll actually pay attention to it as like a rootable. No, not really. It must just be the way that I've got it laid out. case there's no real point in having these here so we'll get all that deconstructed and we'll be able to reposition it somewhere Not a surprise, Gerasim is still unhappy, but Gerasim is up to 78% through his withdrawal. This prisoner is gradually building up a rapport. It's going to be a while until we can recruit them, though. Kevin's coming in for a go. We might have to clean up the room, though. Harvesting failed. Oh, you you just failed to pick the potatoes and then you threw up all over them. Ricky, that's that's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Okay, Garrison is not going to be happy about um, sleeping and working in the dark, but I don't really care that much about that. 
deconstructing is going okay over there. Hopefully that's going to free up the way through so we can do back and forth, back and forth as we need. Yeah, he's increasing at an all right rate for mining, but he's not brilliant at it. Get that food in, get it cooked. Packed. Get get the cleaning done first and then you can go back to mining. It's not exactly glamorous, but uh, it does need to be done. Ooh, cargo pods. Uh, let's see where they've landed. And Permison. Cool. Uh, we'll certainly unforbid that. Taste bland, not offensive. Doesn't exactly go bad. It's basically free food has fallen from the sky. That's definitely going to help us in the run up to winter. Right, Garrison's fallen down again. Uh, food poisoning from a meal. It's understandable. Um, at the moment, we still don't have anyone with brilliant cooking, and anyone that can try is trying. Now, the um, the cooker, of course, uh, being in here in uh, in the cold, does have a work speed penalty. But I would rather it was there and there was less time hauling than anything else. Ooh, a paramilitary person called Stephen has arrived. Let's have a look at him. He's got asthma. He's feeling great. He's awesome. Yeah, he's brilliant. Okay. Um, he's got a spear, pack of survival mill. Cool. And he knows Arta. Although Arta hates him. Well, that's uh, that's fine. Okay, let's um. Let's sort out his day-to-day -day stuff. So much like everyone else, we're going to give him a full day of work with a couple of bits of joy thrown in. And um, for actual work, we're going to need to build another um, bedroom, of course, for him. Uh, we'll put him on hunting with his spear. Uh, we'll put him on full-time growing, actually, because he's pretty good at growing. Pretty good. Uh, he's an expert grower, actually. Really, that's kind of what we want him doing most of the time, hunting and growing. He's food production. Uh, yeah, hunting and growing and a little bit of wardening. And yeah, that'll that'll be fine. Everything else can uh, can wait. Welcome on board, Stephen. Wait, what are you wearing? Uh, you're wearing trousers, that's fine, as long as you've got something on. So I guess this is going to have to be a bedroom as well. Sewing heel roots. Good. This is what we need. We need someone who can just come in, hit the ground running. Although he's basically just come in and then gone to sleep straight away, which is not exactly ideal. But at least he brought his own food. We could give him the pistol, but for the moment I'm going to keep him as is. And as soon as we get another gun, that's going to remind me over there that he needs to be given one. You guys fetching all the uh, the heel roots and the pemmican? In okay, that's fine. Is Cameron running from the sloth? No, he's running to rest. Okay, so he's not too happy with how the place looks, but generally he's all right. I wonder, does his asthma actually need treating? It does need treating, okay. 
Well, it doesn't need treating that often. It's only once a week. So out of all the ailments, it's not that bad. That's a bit rude, eating at his table. Uh, let's let's turn it so it's not a gather spot. And Kevin's already going to be having a bit of a hard time with it all. Garrison is 81% through this uh, ridic uh, ridiculous withdrawal. He will be much better for it, though. Much, much better off for it. And you've nearly developed that immunity. Perfect. Which means Ricky probably has as well. Yeah, good, good. Those guys are doing exceptionally well. So with the minor break risks and the major break risks, at this point in the game, I don't think that they're likely to trigger that much because of the optimism uh, Buffett gives you. Uh, but obviously as time goes on, that's going to become something that needs to be watched very seriously. Someone going crazy would not be good. Oh, there's not much chance to recruit this person. What's their... And we'll keep at them for a bit. Uh, we might re uh, release them just to make things a bit better for us. His, shat his ribs being shattered, that's a bit of a shame. That's not quite reaching. Where is the power? Oh, I see it. These ones need connecting. That's what the problem is. There we go. Yeah, not much chance. Still, Stephen, you're doing a reasonable job. Uh, one thing I will do though is I will take you off warning a little bit so you can prioritise your other things because you're much better at doing all the sewing at the moment. Hmm. Now I said this wasn't to be a gather spot but apparently they don't care about that. Well let's put it back to being a gather spot and we'll just have to have Kevin's uh, bedroom slightly disturbed. The other thing we can do is we can get some steel walls going in over here. Pretty fast construction by Cameron there. Just running the steel through. It's amazing how much better people are once they've had some training. Oh, look at that. All the efficiency. All the efficiency. And once this room is uh, fully mined out, we can start the next area going. I have got a good amount of plastic coming in as well. We might have to start building stuff with that. Okay, is there any more heel root dotted around that we can just grab? Oh, that's not grown nearly enough. We've still got plenty actually out there. Uh, that can be harvested though. And that one can't. That one up there can't. Yeah, there's still plenty actually on the floor, so I'm not that worried about our medicine stockpile level, even though we've only got one. It's just one in the stockpile. And Kevin can run out and grab them as needs be. Steel wool in there. Steel wool in those two. Let's um, get a light in here over this side. Ooh. Mayo, Prime Councillor of Russia, has sent a message. 
A collection of valuable items not far from us. That's interesting. I think neuro trainers improve skills of people. Others will take it in 20 days. So we would have to actually send someone out. It's not far from us. We're this thing here. Uh, but we'd have to send a, a colony, uh, sorry, a caravan out. And I don't think we're ready to do that yet. Uh, we're not quite at the point where we're even producing our own stuff, let alone able to do something like that. Uh, let's get some more mining designated in here. We'll get the next area planned out. So knowing that that's the back wall, we only need it to be 7 by 6. Knowing that that's the back wall, we only need it to be 7 by 6. And that'll give us two new areas. In fact, what I might do is if I cancel these, I might have it as a single corridor that goes along either way. And then we can build more coming up and down from there. That's probably a far more sensible option. Oops, let's cancel that down the middle. How are you doing? 85% through your withdrawal. Uh, Ricky should have... No, oh, no injuries at all. And Cameron... Nothing there. Is Kevin's... Malaria? No, nope, it's not even listed. No, they've all gone. Good, good, good. And Gerasim's actually doing something productive. He's making a parker. Finally, we're going to be able to get him into some decent clothing. Okay. Did he actually finish it? No, there's still 97 hours of work. Well, sorry, 97 units of work left. But he's still doing something useful, which is certainly an improvement. We need to get a bed in here. Furniture, beds. We'll put that down. Oh. Furniture, beds, let's try that again. Put that down there. Steel walls can come across here now that we've got that bottom bit all sorted and we can put some wood floors in. And of course, a door. A nice steel door for this room. Right, this is Stevens. He's building his own bedroom. And I'm sure he'll be quite happy about that once uh, the job is done. Man, he is efficient. He is really cool. Uh, let's actually get another light source in here. Get lights on either side of that door there. Uh, we do need this to be built, so I might get Steven to have a go at that in a moment. Although, it could be that we don't have enough components. Let's, uh, let's deconstruct this. And I think there was some more relatively close by. There was a bit over there. Get that deconstructed. Ah, there they are. We'll deconstruct both of those. Oh my god, boomalopes. Um, so boomalopes are like antelopes, except they have a tendency to explode. Grows a large sack of volatile chemicals on its back. Uh, animals have learned to avoid it because of the huge explosion when it dies. Uh, you can train them. You can tame them. I wouldn't recommend it, though. I would not recommend it at all. What are we going to get from this? Yeah, some components and some steel. That's alright. And the last solar generator is done. It was because we were out of components. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's uh, let's build one more of those, actually. Uh, so, power production, solar generator, bang. 
fact, we'll get we'll get three more. Why not? Massive expansion. That's what we're doing. Massive expansion. And speaking of massive expansion, this is coming along quite quickly and quite well. Uh, I'm probably going to expand this corridor area and have it as uh, a bit of a central stockpile uh, for what we've got. Let's uh, get that ordered now. If I do that and then the same on the other side, then we can build a steel wall there and have stockpiles on either side. Now, did someone grab the parka that was on there? Oh, Cameron did. Did Cameron grab it? What are you wearing? Yeah. Yeah, the parka got taken up there and Cameron grabbed it. It's a bit of a shame. Garrison didn't have an opportunity. Um, and you're still wearing one from a dead person. At this point, we can actually take your clothes off. And if we go bills, add bill, make pants, we'll prioritize that. Add bill, make t-shirt, prioritize that. And hopefully someone will get in there and make you some clothes. He's already upset. It's, it's not going to make him that much crazier, the fact that we are making him walk around nude. It's, it's penance for the last part of his drug addiction. You know, we've got him walking around naked. He's being followed around by the dog. The dog's ringing the bell. Shame, shame. He's stargazing, stargazing in the nude. Observed rotting corpse. Oh, there's still a rotting corpse up there. Uh, yeah. What are you doing? You're going to rest. We'll probably have to haul that sooner rather than later. There is lots of space over here. And then we can move this stockpile inside and that will set us up nicely for our future production. We will unforbid these though. Just so they get hauled correctly and we can sell them off in the future. How are you doing? What's your chance of recruitment? Still 99% but you've got quite a good rapport built. So hopefully that's going to be worthwhile over time. probably do with getting another light in here actually seeing as we've got so many solar generators we can probably afford the extra light and actually automatically turns itself off at night that's no use we want one that's always on during the day oh sorry and at night always on not just like partly on so everyone's actually in good health at the moment. Uh, other than uh, Garrison still fighting off the last parts of their addiction. But he's up to 90% done. Um, yeah, no one's injured. We haven't had a raid in a while. We obviously still need more weapons. But uh, generally we're pretty good. In fact, while I think about it, let's get some production. We're going to get a stonecutter's table over on this side. And we're going to get a sculptor's table over on this side. Ah, oh, that's a shame. If they fail construction, then sometimes resources get damaged. But uh, that's uh, not really that much of a problem. Right, Ricky is making the trousers. So hopefully Garrison is going to go and grab them in a moment. I could force him to go get them, but I think, yeah, Arthur's going to get them. Still, he could go and get the uh, emu pants.
Right, we can add a couple of bills for this. Uh, let's get some... Yeah, let's get any stone blocks for now. Uh, we'll get 50 of them queued up. And we will get some large sculptures. Let's get 10 large sculptures. Uh, once this is all dug out, we're going to set it as the stockpile and we're going to get things uh, moving across. Are you going... Ah, you're going to get the t-shirt at least. And then maybe you'll get the trousers as well. They're a bit shoddy, but they'll be better than nothing. There we go. Still got tattered apparel, but... Uh, pigskin t-shirt, awful. And emu leather pants. So we, we need more pants, really. Let's get another couple of pants, another couple of t-shirts. I like how Steven's now cleaning the place after failing to recruit the dude. Not much chance. I think we're just going to let him go. We'll mark him for release. It's a bit of a shame. We've Obviously spent quite a lot of resources and time on him, but uh, you can't win them all. And this will give us a slight reputation boost with the uh, green chimpanzee Kogako. So there is always that going for us. Oh, Steven's on a bit of a cleaning binge. Good job, Steven. Is it cold in here? It's not too bad. In fact, everyone's on a bit of a cleaning binge. The entire place is looking almost spotless. We can't have run out of uh, things for them to be doing. All the heel roots being moved across. Oh, maybe, maybe we have. Well, I don't mind if they want to spend some time cleaning, but we are going to get some hunting done. Let's uh, find some creatures to hunt. There's one. Hunt you. Hunt the tortoise. Hunt these, including the boomalope. I mean, that's going to be dangerous, but, uh, you know, what can you do? Hunt. Hunt those. Hunt that. That'll do. More cargo pods. All right. So, cargo pods have dropped up here. I can't see anything specifically. Oh, components. That's not too bad. It's not amazing. Let's make sure that there's nothing else. No, it's just that. We'll unrestrict it. Let's see if we can't work on getting some of our food levels back up. Rice is growing quite nicely. In fact, I will actually build a sun lamp to help with this because it'll help when it's overcast. So let's get a sun lamp here on these. We'll see if that helps the grow rate. Okay. Well, this is RimWorld. It is the outer space edge of civilization colony sim. And this is Abaddon's Gate Colony. We're doing quite well. We've expanded a fair bit. We've got most people past their various illnesses and injuries. Uh, hell, we're even nearly past the Goju's addiction on uh, Garrison. Um, but I'm going to finish this episode here. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you are enjoying it. If you are, remember to give me a like. And uh, if you want to be notified when the next episodes go up, then subscribe to the channel. See you soon for more RimWorld.